I'm so excited to have this conversation because you're going to bring it out with heat and vengeance. And y'all, we were supposed to have a session together showcasing this podcast, showcasing today's incredible guests in season three. But I believe God creates situations. He opens doors without us even knowing what to expect. And I could not have more positioned a better person for the show at this time in this season than Stephanie Polson, because she is going to get us in a mindset, a headset and a heart set towards our health and our wellness. And you know my passion for not only fitness, Fitness. It's kind of where fit and faith derive from, but more so importantly, towards your wholeness and your alignment. And I believe that that's really where you go after first and foremost. So Stephanie, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. It's going to be epic. And I'm excited to dive in, not only to serve the audience listening right now, but also to just capture your story. I think that's one of the neatest things about podcasting is we have the ability to literally create like a time capsule to all of these relationships. And we got to meet each other this past year at Embrace Your Ambition. And I cannot wait for that one to come out about again in Denver in June 2022. Are you going to be there? Am I going to see you and hug your neck again? I will be there. Yay, awesome. So that was where we started. That's where roots of our foundation came. But tell me about the roots of your, you know, just experience and fitness, nutrition, wholeness, wellness, all of those things. Um, so I started where I was an athlete my entire like career, I guess you can say. Um, I started in gymnastics and softball, and I just was always really, really active. I was in that generation that you rode your bike to your friend's house, and your mom didn't have any of your friend's phone numbers. So if she whistled and you didn't come home, you probably were getting in trouble. Um, so we were out all the time, um, and I was just an active kid. And then I, um, my husband joined the military, and I kind of became mom. And so I still kept active. I tried to get out as much as I could because having two small kids in an apartment building just was not conducive. Um, so we were out all the time. We were experiencing life. Um, and then I had two more kids and I fell behind myself and just fell kind of in the wayside. I was putting myself last in a lot of things. Um, I was losing who I was. I didn't, I was labeled based upon the titles and the hats that I wore not based upon who I was. Um, and so I had lost a lot of me and I didn't really know who I was. Um, after I had my last one, my last little kiddo, um, my husband looked at me and he goes, you're about to homeschool all four kids. You're babysitting two more kids. Um, what are you going to do as a hobby? Like, do you have one of those? And I was like, does four kids count? Like taking care and keeping them alive. Does that yeah, count? Or no. Yeah. And he was like, you yeah, know, that does not count. That that doesn't count. And so um I he goes, okay, you have 24 hours. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to figure out what your hobby is. And I was like, uh, okay. Sure. Um, thanks okay. for the space, babe. Thanks for the space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, exactly. And so um in 24 hours, I was like, you know what? I guess my friend talks about this fitness thing, like working out all the time. I guess I'll try this. Um, and I was like, I can give myself 30 minutes, right? It's not that hard to give 30 minutes. It was a lot harder than I thought at first um, to remove myself and be able to go, it's okay. The house will not collapse in 30 minutes. And if it does, it's not like I've left. I can handle it. Like, we can do this. Um, and that's where I started. And as I was going through all of it, I realized that um, I wanted to make sure other women felt like they had a place to come if they were in the same situation I was. Um, I didn't want another woman to ever feel like she couldn't, like she was alone. I never wanted them to be alone. Um, and so I was like, you know what, I need to create a space where women feel welcomed and they feel okay and that they understand that, you know what, you're not alone and that you have put yourself on the back burner, but now it's time to think about you and thinking about you will in turn make you the better mom, wife, friend, all the other things because you filled your cup. 